أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Alhamdulillah, once a year we come across a month, a month which is so crucial for the entire Muslim Ummah, which is none other than Ramadan, the month of Quran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. شهر رمضان الذي أنزل فيه القرآن هدى للناس وبينات من الهدى والفرقان شهر رمضان الذي أنزل فيه القرآن The month of Ramadan is the month in which Quran was revealed Indeed, it is the month in which Quran was revealed How are we treating Ramadan? Are we treating Ramadan the same way that we treated it a few years ago, the way we treated last year? How is this Ramadan, the Ramadan of 1434, different from 1433 to 32, 31 to 30? Has there been a single change in our life? Has there been an improvement in our recitation, in the connection with the Qur'an? Have we gone deeper into the depth of the Qur'anic world? If not, then we have to take an initiative, invest some time, put some effort. And how beautiful Prophet Muhammad ﷺ has said, وَالَّذِي يَقْرَأُ الْقُرْآنِ وَيَتَتَعْتَعُ فِيهِ وَهُوَ عَلَيْهِ شَاقُ لَهُ أَجْرًا the person who recites the Qur'an, it is difficult on them to recite the Qur'an. They have mashaqqa when they're reciting. They get very tired. It's not easy for them. Lahu ajran, they get double reward. Ajrul mashaqqa and ajrul tilawah. Ajrul tilawah, by default, whether you're reciting properly or not, you'll still get the reward. But it is afdal, it is better for you that you learn how to recite the Qur'an properly.